Somali cat versus Abyssinian cat. What are the differences between these two cat breeds? With the exception of the extra length, the Somali has the same ticked coat as the Abyssinian. The ticked coat has contrasting light and dark colored bands on each air shaft. Somali ticking can be slower to evolve than a by ticking. Everything about him indicates his lively, attentive personality. Somali has a strongly rounded, wedge-shaped head topped with big, broad ears, the better to hear you. Large, almond-shaped eyes of gold or green express interest in everything they see. Dark lines may extend from the eyes and the brows on the face. Its colored bands give a soft, glowing appearance to the Somali coat. To the touch, the medium-long hair is soft and silky with a fine texture. The Somali stands out from the Abai because of the ruff around his neck and the breeches on his legs, which give him a fuller appearance than the Abai. Horizontal hair tufts adorn the inner ears. The Abyssinian is always said to look as if he had just come out of the wild. That's because of his ticked coat pattern, which looks in wild cats like cougars. The ticked coat has contrasting light and dark color bands on each hair shaft. All about him shows a lively, attentive personality. The Abai has a strongly oval, wedge-shaped head topped with large, broad ears, the better to hear you. Large, almond-shaped eyes of gold or green show an interest in everything they see. Dark lines can extend from the eyes and the brows on the face. Somali and Abyssinian bodies are graceful and athletic. It falls into the middle ground between the stocky or cobby body of the breed, such as the Persian, and the tall, slender body of the Oriental breeds, such as the Siamese. The body is protected by slim, fine-boned legs at the tip of short, oval, compact paws. Somalis and Abyssinians are often said to look as if they are walking on tiptoe. Swishing behind them is a full brush, or tail, thick at the base and slightly tapering at the end. Their coats are available in four main colors, ruddy brown, more artistically represented as burnt sienna and ticked with darker brown or black, with tile red nose leather and black or brown paw pads, red, sometimes called sorrel, a cinnamon shade ticked with chocolate brown, with pink nose leather and paw pads, blue a warm beige ticked with various shades of slate blue with nose leather described as old rose and paw pads as mauve, and fawn, a warm rose beige ticked with light cocoa brown, with salmon colored nose leather and pink paw pads. Some associations permit additional colors, including chocolate, lilac, and various silver tones. Like his Abyssinian brother, Somali lives to the fullest. He climbs higher, leaps more, plays harder. Nothing avoids the attention of this extremely intelligent and inquisitive cat, a trait that makes life with him endlessly exciting and constantly challenging. Staying a step ahead of a Somali, or even just keeping pace with him, requires the brilliant footwork of Fred Astaire, the brainpower of Einstein, and a sense of humor that never ceases. You never know what he's going to do next, even if you might presume that whether you have something or are doing something, your Somali is going to want to look closer at it. A love of heights is a sign of Somali character. He wants to be as high as he can be, and he would love to get one or more ceiling height cat trees. When they're not available, he's perfectly capable of making his way to the top of any room. Luckily, he's naturally graceful and barely breaks anything unless it's simply out of curiosity. Somalis are adaptable throughout their lives and blend well into every home where they are cherished and given a lot of care. In a home where people are at work or school during the day, Somalis do their best with a companion, preferably another Somali or a bai, who will match their level of operation. If left to his own devices, the Somali can well disassemble the house in his search for something interesting to do. Watch out! Somali can be addicted to this. Once you've had one, you may find that no other cat will do. Of all the cat breeds, the Abyssinian is perhaps the one that enjoys life to the fullest. He climbs higher, leaps more, plays harder. Nothing avoids the attention of this extremely intelligent and inquisitive cat, a trait that makes life with him endlessly exciting and constantly demanding. Staying a bit ahead of the Abai, as the breed is called, or even only keeping touch with it, it needs the fancy footwork of Fred Astaire, the brain power of Einstein, and a sense of humor that never ceases. You never know what he's going to do next, even if you might presume that if you have something or if you're doing something, your Abai's going to want to look at it closely. Some people refer to the cats as Abai grabby because of their ability to take things that attract their attention. Often it might feel like the Somalis and Abyssinians never sleep. They are still in motion, standing up in the window to peek at birds or squirrels, jumping over the top of the refrigerator to oversee food storage, perching on your desk to watch your fingertips move over the keyboard, and then swiping at them, so you'll pay attention to them instead. These are playful, persistent cats that love to be at the center of attention and will do whatever it takes to gain and retain that status. The Somali and Abyssinian like to play, so plan on making or buying a lot of toys to keep them busy. Ping-pong balls, bottle caps, what-up bits of paper, puzzle toys, 
and teasers like big peacock feathers can all entertain these busy and brainy cats. Teach them to get back at their own risk. If you start, they're not going to let you out. They know tricks easily and a lot of abais love running a feline agility course. Hello. This video is sponsored by Bmix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code kittenlife to get 20% off. The Somali medium length coat requires a modest amount of grooming. Comb the coat with a stainless steel comb once or twice a week to remove dead fur, avoid or remove tangles, and spread the oils of the skin. In the spring, when the cat sheds its winter coat, you will need to comb it every day. A bath, while the cat is shedding, can help clear extra fur more easily. The short, fine Abyssinian coat is easy to care for with weekly combing to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. A bath, while the cat is shedding, can help clear extra fur more easily. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep your litter box spotlessly empty. Cats are very specific about the hygiene of the bathroom, and a dirty box can cause them to start using other areas in the house instead. It's a smart idea to keep the Somali and Abyssinian as indoor-only pets to protect them from diseases transmitted by other animals, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and other dangers faced by outdoor cats, such as being hit by a car. Somali and Abyssinians who go outside are often at risk of being robbed by someone who would like to see such a cute cat without paying for it. The active and social Somali and Abyssinian are the perfect choices for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. They will play fetch as well as any retriever, learn tricks quickly, and enjoy the affection they get from children who treat them kindly and respectfully. They are smart enough to get away from toddlers, but they love school-aged children because they complement their energy and curiosity. Nothing scares them, especially not dogs, and they will happily make friends with them if they don't cause him any trouble. Somalis and Abyssinians have also been reported to have come along with large parrots, ferrets and other animals. Always introduce any pets, such as other cats slowly and in a controlled setting. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.